I just wanted to talk about some mounting related issues concerning the uh, the Bulldog valve robot. So we support from um, half inch all the way up to one and a half inch with the uh, standard uh, bracket set and one and a half inch is large. Um, typically the home will have a um, a three quarter inch or maybe a one inch is typical but we go up to the higher sizes there are some applications where they have uh, commercial industrial and just larger homes may have a uh, you know a one and a half inch uh, type valve this is a um, one and a half inch solder type valve and the valves come in uh, different types so there's solder type where you you know I guess you push the copper pipe in and you uh, you braze it or solder it and there's a threaded uh, compression type there's a crimp compression type there's just uh, threaded where you put uh, sealing tape on the threads and even for the same types of threaded there's different you know there's different types so we had to come up with a bracket set that supports uh, all these different types and we have um, the first style bracket set which is still in use um, works for most valves but we're just introducing a new style that removes the clamp and it's going to support more sizes and then styles in fact just about everything i have on this table which is probably you know 99 percent of the applications out there the new bracket set will include um, one for uh, what we call large valves which are three quarter to uh, one inch and a second slightly larger bracket that will go to three quarter threaded up to one and a half inch uh, threaded all right so that's the two bracket types so when you're mounting actually i'll just mention this we've actually tested it in terms of torque up to a two inch valve but at this point you know we're only uh, recommending the largest size is uh, one and a half inch because it's kind of on the edge with the uh, the two inch valve but it does well with all the other sizes so first i just want to note that our bracket mounting design only uses the valve itself for the mounting it doesn't mount on the pipe on either side if you mount your um, motor assembly in such a way that it's holding the the pipe on one side and grabbing the arm on the other um, that's where you could cause some stress in here we don't think that's a good idea in terms of uh, plumbing regulations or you know safety and you know it's more likely to cause a leak than uh, the way we mount which is directly on the uh, on the valve only on the valve all right like that so now I'm just going to show um, how you mount it on the, uh, the valve. All right, so we're going to use a uh, one inch solder type valve. Um, and this bracket is the um, designed to work for multiple valve sizes because of the way we uh, make this special curve, the Vance curve. And it's designed with a shoulder here to slide up against this eight sided color, but not over top of. All right, so I'm just gonna put it like so, handle on it now, and you can see it's just leaning against the eight-sided collar. All right, so I'm gonna line it up a bit here. And of course, you'll be doing this while it's on the, uh, the plumbing, so it might be easier, it might be more difficult, but. Make an adjustment before I really tighten it up so I can, you know, make sure it's centered. All right, so it's sometimes a little hard to tell. But that looks pretty good there. So I'm going to leave it like that. Maybe give it a couple more turns just to keep it steady. And I'll do one more tightening once I uh, have the whole thing together. Okay, and then I shuffle this forward until I get the pivots points even. And that looks pretty good there. All right. All right, before I completely tighten it, I'm going to just check the alignment again. The, the center points should be centered. I mean, the pivot points should be centered and even. So I'm going to just make sure that it is. That looks pretty good. 
So now I'll tighten this one up a little bit more. I'm going to tighten the two sides up. Everything else looks pretty good. So let's plug her in to the control module. And by the way, the control module uses a standard PS2 connector. And you can extend this away, which is um, a good idea for some installations if the valve's under the cottage or if the valve's anywhere where it's awkward to get a hold of. And you could extend this up to 50 feet so you could have this module, uh, you know, 50 feet away. If your valve's in the basement or in the, underneath the cottage or the house, you can just pull this wire up and, you know, mount this someplace conveniently. And then you can open and close it with the button on here if you need to. See, it's everything's even and centered, and it's got no problem turning this uh, one inch uh, solder type valve. You can see it opens all the way, and let's just watch the uh, close stroke one more time. So, I got the pins adjusted, and it's closing all the way. And that's it.